What's going on guys? Dan here, DD Speed Shop. Uh, well, more Nova stuff. So we're in the last couple of videos, we've been putting in uh, brand new floor pans, change the door, rockers. Um, now what we're gonna do is work on the rear floors. So, my plan is, got a heck of a mess out here, but to make more mess, I'm gonna cut the floor, the rear floor out, it's all rotten. It's cut out in a few sections. Um, I'm not too sure where I'm going to cut exactly, if I want to take out the tubs or not. They're pretty beat up, and they have the fronts of the tubs have been replaced with some miscellaneous stuff that look like crap. But I'm thinking I might just cut the floor of it out, take that out, get all that junk out of here, and maybe we'll roll this thing right outside and clean up a little bit. Then we'll start dismantling this shell. So I bought a... Uh, 56 Chevy wagon and this is the rear section out of it and I don't know how much I'm going to keep how much I'm going to kind of screw around with if I just want to use the actual floor or if I want all the actual structure because below this section across here to actually be fairly sturdy is all the structure for it so if we can leave all of that in the car it's good I haven't even looked at it yet <coughs> sorry but uh like all this stuff if this is all still good on the Nomad, it'd be easier to change the sheet metal. I'm thinking. And then wheel tubs and whatnot there. Again, they're a little they're a little crunchy. So let's get torn into this thing. We'll uh, get all the rear floor out. We'll see what we got going on. But look at that. It actually looks like a real car. You can't see right through. It's got some structure in it. The doors fit. So I would like to get this taken care of. I wonder if we'll do it tonight. Well, I'll cut it out tonight, but we'll see how far I make it. Alright, let's get cutting. Okay, we're uh, trunk delete. So I mean, I might as well just four link it while we're at it, right? Nope, anyways, it's really not that bad. Well, it's pretty bad, but I got all the junk out. Now the nice thing is, you know, I'm gonna show you on this, it's way easier. They are the exact same. So this is the underside, obviously. So you have the floor, which I just cut out in pieces. This is the uh, pasture floor, which is relevant. These are the kind of what the structure for the floor that sit on. Uh, down there and there. They're still in good shape. Uh, I still have that brace just kind of welded on it. Be this brace right here, actually. I just got to kind of get in there and cut that off. Um, at the back, all of this structure that runs across and everything is in really good shape. I need more room here. But that's this right here. I don't know if there's enough light there, but it's, it's in good, I mean, it's rusty, but just surface rust, it's in really nice shape. These are all in nice shape. There's no issues there. So really, we just need the skin, the top piece, and the well. So I think we'll push this out a little bit, drag this in. Really what we need is we need from here, get the wheel tubs off. And I'm thinking what I might do is actually cut the wheel tubs like kind of here because up in here is still good, good weldable metal. See, there is some rust up here, but I mean, I'm not gonna go all the way up there. I'll do that in a separate patch. But if I put it in there, I can just weld it across there, clean it up real nice, it'll be what it's gonna be. The fronts are beat. There's no way around that. I'll have to cut those out and then figure it out down the road. It'll need some sort of a panel I'll make or find another something or other. But I can easily weld it across there. And then that will give it all the structure I need. And life should be good. I may have to take out, well, I'm probably going to have to take out this shock cross member because these are where the shocks go in the factory, in the floor on a factory Tri-5. This is like an add-on thing. 
So I'll probably have to cut that out because I assume those pockets will want to fit in and around that area. So, I mean, it's irrelevant. There's no shocks in this thing for the time being. Um, but yeah, so I can push this thing out. I can clean some junk up because I got stuff freaking everywhere. Uh, but we're making room. Getting the floor in here, made room. Getting the doors changed, made room. Getting this cut into manageable pieces will make room. So again, I think I'll just slice it there. Because this has all nice factory pinch welds and all that sort of stuff. We're going to keep all that. I got to get this. Oh, it's already half off. I got to get that off and I got to get basically this piece here off. And the rest is going to go in one big section. So it's, uh, it's not too bad. I'm pretty excited actually. It'll be a lot of screwing around welding, cutting, grinding. But it'll just go in in one chunk. And... Uh, I mean, really, at this point, all the mounts aren't even changing. We're just changing the sheet metal top. So that's pretty good. I gotta put a couple of spacers or a couple of mounts under the floor. It's just sitting on the on the mounts itself. So I'll lift it up just like a, I have some, but like little spacers, the mounts. So it's at the proper height. They'll set everything at the back here because this is still, the structure piece is still on the mounts. And we're golden. See, it's pretty easy. It's not even that rotten. Holy moly. All right, so I dragged this piece out. I started cleaning a little bit. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna cut this up, so let's not go too crazy. Now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut on this line here, get this floor off. It'll be double wall with the grind on the other side. Uh, I think I'll probably keep as much of this as I can. These actually aren't too bad. They're a little rotten, but you know what? It's better than we got. So we'll keep most of that. So if I cut up here and then something like that, because they're rotten in the same spot as the Nomad is, right there, on both sides. So, so be it. And it just has a little bit of rot coming through right there. So I'll have to deal with that. On the back side, like I said, that cut will be right there. Once we get all the side pieces off, we can flip it on its lid. And then we gotta cut this brace off. This, this back piece and that. And we should have Whatever we need to slide right back in the car. So, cue the sparks.
Okay, well, I'm, uh, I'm cut out for the night. I'm out of batteries. I'm almost on the zip disks, so we're calling it. This is what we ended up with. This is all now good metal, and I think we're going to use most of it. I did put a coat of undercoating on the bits that I'm not going to touch, because, again, those, those braces are going to run right here, so I'm not going to get really under there very well. Uh, I still have to come down. This is now double wall, so i got to get that section off, which should come up pretty easy. The front section, same thing, it actually started peeling off like real easy, so zip it down and then that'll just fit right on top of the floor. Uh, the pinch welds and all that on the side are all good. In theory this should, like I'll do a little more cutting on the car, but it should slide right in and the only thing that'll be overlapping will be the wheel wells. And you know these front ones aren't too bad. So, if I can kind of use as much of this as possible, I'll have to put a little patch in there. <clears throat> what I can do on the bottom side, actually, they're not too bad. And then I don't know why I cut it big here. You know, do that across the back, finish it up, make it look nice. And uh, I mean, it's not going to be perfect, even a little bit of body filler in there, and it'd be good enough. I don't know, I guess Nomads must have had some uh, padding in there and panels. I don't know what. But uh, we'll probably just paint it black and be done with it. <coughs> Anyways. So I'm for night, let the batteries charge, literally, myself as well, I've been giving her pretty hard. And, uh, it's more after work I'm going to clean up, because it's, it's madness in here. But now having all this stuff out, we're slowly but surely making more room by installing parts. So we'll get the car cut out tomorrow. This should just slide right in pretty easily, I'm thinking. If all this pieces, all these pieces are out, <laughs> it should just go in. <laughs> And uh, something we can tack weld in place just like we do with the floors. And then, yeah, I think that's where we're going to leave it on the floors. we got quarters coming. Uh, so I'll probably cut the quarters off and start working on the inner wheel tubs. Uh, I still, you know, we have some from this, some from the other car. We can make something work or just flat sheet metal. Then when the quarters go on, it's going to really look like a car in a hurry. I'll see you guys in the morning. Or no, I gotta work tomorrow. Stupid work. I'll see you after work tomorrow. So in the evening. Next day, news flash. I uh, got home, cleaned up a little bit here. Look at that. I already made a mess. Car's obviously back in. Um, I screwed around with this. I got the leading edge cleaned up on both sides. And then I just drilled a bunch of holes because we're gonna plug weld this in front and back. In here, obviously I got I gotta clean this up. I just cut whatever it was, random three inches or so above the floor. We got this little strip off, same thing I drilled out all the spot welds, peeled that off. Um, got the brace across for where the shocks are, so there shouldn't be anything interfering. Um, these are all kind of cleaned up. These just sit. They're not actually well detailing, they just was well at the front, so I gave that a quick little grind. I gotta straighten this one out just a little. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I might. Uh, cut off the the tips a little bit more of the wheel well because they're all just kind of buck together and in here this actually was a little like rotten it's like torn but I gotta fix that which I did keep the sides of the sedan delivery so hopefully it's the same shape I'll just weld a piece on but what I am realizing I'm thinking anyways the Nomad has a real curve here versus a sedan delivery wagon which is more upright so we're gonna have to do some trimming of the the side, like the wheel tub, because it's obviously got quite a curve to it, or quite an angle, whatever you want to call it. So we got that. I gotta get in there. I'm just going to lift the rear floor and put two uh, body mounts in there so it's at the correct height. In theory, I should be able to just wrestle this thing in, you know, by kind of going through the window or whatever and plunking it down. It'll sit on top of that floor, which is where it should be. It'll sit on top of this. And then it'll be kind of sandwiched in there, which we'll have to cut out, do whatever we gotta do to make it fit. But uh, I think I think that's it. So I'm gonna get set up and we'll start wrestling that thing in. Okay, Let's see how this piece goes in. Hoping I can keep it all together, but should make it a little foldy. It's not heavy, but it's very awkward. Pig. What's that? It looks like a pig from this angle. It's clearly going to be too wide. 
Query. Mm -hmm. Why didn't we do this yesterday when the car wasn't like attached? The back of the car was always attached. Oh. That may have to. That may have to happen. I'm just gonna put it. Go in. At an angle. I think I can if it wasn't for this side that may have to come off. Hmm. Can it go in like sideways and then turn in the inside? Yeah, like through the glass opening? Yeah. I think it's too tall. Maybe not. Oh. I think it's about the shame distance. Pushing it in this way so it's sideways, and then just go inside and turn it. You're hot rod Jesus. You can do anything. <laughs> yeah, like cut this in half and weld it back together. Honestly, that's what I would have thought you'd do. I want to try and put it in one piece. Chance at it though. What do you think? Sure. I'll be on for dinner right away, so it doesn't affect me. You're not leaving until this is installed. It's so, so nice not to cut this in half. Installed? <laughs> I think this is how it was from the factory. A little jam. I have to cut that front lid off too. It's caught on. Oh, it's caught just at the back here. Again. Uh, I think it's 
are so convenient. What about this is convenient? Can you see what it's called on up there? I can't quite see, no. Oh, it looks like it's caught on, um, there's like an attached thing right under the wheel here. So stuck. This wheel tub is just gouged in there. Ouch. Uh, pass me the zip disc and the I put it on the ground. Nope, the grinder. On the roof. Oh, right in the middle where I cannot reach. <laughs> Can you pull up on that and get over this lip? Oh, 
just needs a little bit of trimming. These quarter pieces. <laughs> all right, mental note. Wheel tubs won't fit all at once. Okay, I need a minute. I'm gonna die here. Okay, I'm just gonna zip these at a angle and then oh camera lady. So this it's fallen in this little well. This needs to be right on that. So I gotta go back that inch. As you can see, we're we're jammed up against there. So zip that and uh should be good actually if I have a little angle finder, which I do. I can just match it. Cut that on it. Okay, I'll do that and we'll be right back. Woo! What a battle! Okay, Danny's out of here, so. Um, I just gave these a zip so they fit you know kind of nicely behind. They're all bent down. And are way too tall. But we got her, I think, where we want it. Good enough for my liking, anyways. A couple stacks of the hammer. Uh, around the front, it's got a big bow in it. And I mean, same thing. We'll give it a smack or do whatever. Plug weld it in. And I think we're good. Again, this is just a floor piece that's attaching to the structure that's staying to the car. And, uh, to the back of the, the pasture floor. So there's no body bolts or nothing like that on this. So it's irrelevant really how it goes in. I mean, it could have been flat sheet metal and all that, but uh, I was an idiot and thought this would be a good idea. Which, man, other than the wheel tubs, like the front of the arch, which would be really nice to have on, I'll have to weld those on separate. But this ain't too bad. I can now, uh, I'll set the camera. I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of plug weld it in and uh, you know, kind of start fitting this a little bit natural in the video, just get it kind of together so it's all structurally sound. Because I've been giving her, I'm tired. This was very frustrating. So that's probably these one piece pans. They make a fantastic repair. And again, if you had, this is the old, if you had a lift, you could jack the car up, put it down, bolt it all down, drop the car down and make life a lot easier. I don't have one of those. And I think a lot of you guys don't either. That shouldn't scare you. You can fix anything with limited tools and uh, limited brain power. But I wanna get that going. I'm gonna pick up the quarter panels probably tomorrow because I'm actually thinking a lot of this repair for the inner tubs, I can get to both the quarter panel off, I can also get to the inside, front to back, which will make life very easy. So if I put the quarters on, I can then kinda of, you know cut out or do whatever I wanna do. And probably do one side at a time. I, I like to, I always see on shows they, they just got the car. I know I got the cars right down, but I do believe doing one quarter panel or one panel at a time is the best for keeping it as structurally sound as possible. We still have the doors open and closing, all the body mounts line up, all that sort of stuff. So since this quarter's already buck sheet all to hell, if we get this plug welded into place, start on the inner wheel tub, then if I get the quarter, we'll probably slice that off, like you know, mark it, get, you know, let's get some ugly cuts. Then we can finish that whole inside panel, then do the quarter, and then repeat on that side. I'll get the welder. Okay, so on the back here, I think we'll start in the middle. I got the welder set pretty good. We're gonna put some heat to this thing and uh, hope for the best. back in. Uh, seal the holes so we should be all lined up. I'm just going to grind the tip to this real quick and then roll the heat to it.
Okay, we're relatively locked in, uh, front and back. Uh, honestly, the wheel tubs don't look as bad now that this is in there. I don't know, just my mind playing tricks on me, but I think what I'm going to do with this now is the metal is not bad at the bottom, but I think I'm just going to measure like either three or four inches, run a line across, zip it, fold it back, I'll give it a couple of tacks, and then I can just cut that part out, and then kind of like I'm putting on a quarter panel, so I'll I'll zip it along, push the new panel into the old panel, or whatever you want to call it, and just put a few tacks on it at least to kind of hold it into place. Because the issue I have is there's not a, like we're fine front to back, but side to side structure, we don't really have much, right? And we have to have this over. Really, it's a it's a floor to that piece situation. But if I get the tubs in. Those can have a little bit of flex, and then we'll lock it in with that, uh, you know, when we're doing the quarter panels and all that. So, I meant to think, but I'm just going to mark that, and then all we got just really is the front wheel tubs. The back tubs, <clears throat> they're put in really butchered, but if I just zip them out and re-weld them, I actually think they'll look fine. <laughs> it's funny how things change. But that's the plan. So I'll get these cut out, and we'll weld them back up. Okay, bunch of welding later. You ready for it? Uh, so, now uh, these wheel tubs are both beat to hell, so they need a little bit of hammer dolly work, but I can't get to both sides at once. So I gotta get Danny out here to kind of just hold the dolly or whatever and whack it. So I got the floor just kind of started. It's got some waves in it, no big deal. We'll straighten it out. We're not going for perfection anyways. I won't shoot for perfection. What happens is irrelevant. So we got her kind of plugged in front and back. Uh, not so crazy that we can take it if we have to. There are two rust spots right there and right there. So what there is is there's a brace that runs across. Junk gets in the brace and it rots out. The bottom side was still good. 
there's a little drain hole I blew out and from the top side I'm sure I'll just cut a little square out we'll vacuum all the crap out and it'll be fine um, yeah I think that's what we're gonna leave for now we still got lots of screwing around doing wheel tubs just on the front obviously the hole to the floor and then from the inner corner to the floor as well so that's the sections we got to work on but again it's much easier to get to that stuff uh, once we get the thing up on stands see we can actually build the piece on the inside here I think that's what I want to do versus having it on the outside so jack it up pull the wheels make my little piece which again we'll probably end up using the section that I cut out because it wouldn't fit but uh, that's where I'm leaving it for now because I'm tired that was that was a lot of screwing around you know getting all these panels and stuff like I said it's handy to have but man you gotta wrestle to get them in that looks really good front to back floor pretty solid uh, a little bit of tow board work a little bit of that so we have a lot of little things to take care of but we're we're knocking the big stuff out just like absolute crazy so yeah I gotta run out I'm gonna take all that garbage I put piles of piles in the back of the truck so I gotta take all that garbage in clean up a little bit more and tomorrow hopefully I'll pick up them quarter panels and we can set them on the car see what it looks like you know put a couple self tappers in it but this thing is I mean it doesn't look like much different on the outside but come on on the inside this thing went from a pile of junk to uh if you guys saw this car now you'd be interested in it I know it was a parts car but now it's a builder right thanks for watching Subscribe below, hit the bell, all those things. Really appreciate it. We're clearly wasting the money on Nomad stuff. And I will see you on the next video. Just tomorrow. It's always tomorrow.